join the party. Have a hearty glass of rum. Hey everybody, it's Adam. Today I'm going to show you my recipe for uh, basic stuffing to use with turkey at Thanksgiving. I know this seems like a lot of bread, but I'm serving 12 to 16 people. So you could totally cut it in half or quarter it if you wanted to, but let's get started. It's pretty easy. The first thing I'm going to do is take my bread and chop it into one inch cubes. I've got three loaves, which is three pounds, and this is a hearty white bread. You don't want to use the really airy cheap stuff, otherwise it's going to get soggy or burn in your stuffing. I'm going to cut it into one inch cubes and then put it in a 400 degree oven for 10 minutes to dry it up a little bit so it can take in all that good moisture I'm going to put in later. I'm gonna stick my bread in the oven at 400 degrees for 10 minutes, and that's gonna dry up the bread so I can infuse it with a ton of wet flavor later. While my bread is drying out, I'm gonna get my flavors ready. I'm gonna chop up three medium onions and four ribs of celery. You don't want anything too big, otherwise they're not gonna cook in time. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna take my bread out of the oven and just let it cool on the stove top and bring it to room temperature. All right, now I'm gonna peel and chop two apples. This is gonna add a lot of sweet flavor and a little bit of tart. I'm gonna use Granny Smith apples. They hold up best during baking. All right, now that I've got the big stuff done, it's time to start working on my herbs where I'm gonna get a ton of flavor. I'm gonna chop off half a cup of fresh parsley and three tablespoons of minced fresh sage. I'm just gonna roll my sage up into little bundles and then just give it a chop. And now to my fresh herbs, I'm gonna add some dried herbs. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of whole thyme. And one teaspoon of dried marjoram. All right, now that I've done all my chopping and have my other ingredients prepared, I'm gonna melt a stick and a half of unsalted butter on medium to medium high heat in my saute pan, and then add my apples, onions, and celery, and cook them for about 10 minutes. My apples, onions, and celery and butter have been cooking for about 10 minutes. They're just starting to brown and getting really tender. I'm gonna add my herbs that I chopped earlier, put them in, stir them around, let them get fragrant for about two minutes, and then add two teaspoons of salt and two teaspoons of pepper. Now that I've stirred in my herbs and salt and pepper, I'm gonna take this whole mixture and set it off the heat, let it cool down for a little bit and move on to the next step. Now that my onion mixture is cooling, it's time to assemble my stuffing. This is my dried bread from earlier. If you have a giant bowl, that's great. This is the biggest thing I have in my house. So I'm gonna take all of my dried bread and toss it right in here and add four eggs and five cups of low sodium chicken broth.
beat him up just a little with my hands. All right, I've added my eggs and my chicken stock. Now I'm gonna add my cooled onion mixture with all my herbs and apples. And now I'm just gonna toss everything. Now that I've mixed all my ingredients, I'm gonna dump it back into my pan that I baked my bread in, cover it with foil, bake it for 25 minutes at 400 degrees, take off the lid and bake it for about another 20. I cooked my stuffing with the foil on for about 25 minutes, took off the foil, and then cooked it for another 25, and it came out golden brown and beautiful. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. This episode and others are available on my website, adamprocatering.com, and watch for more episodes of my cooking show, Cook with Adam, on YouTube. See you next time. Come on, join the party. Have a hearty glass of rum.